Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this evening's Cabinet meeting. A number of domestic issues to get through, first of all. Um, fire evacuation procedures for this evening's meetings. There are none scheduled. Therefore, if the fire alarm <laughs> sounds, please evacuate the building immediately. Uh, the fire exits are located at the rear and side of this room and go down the stairs and meet in the War Memorial Park. Just to remind you, the way it's being webcast and... Um, it is check working, is it, the webcast? Thank you very much. And then finally, to make sure you've got your mobile phones turned to silent. Um, apologies for absence. We have one apology from Councillor Simon uh, Bound. Um, resignations and replacements, we have none. Urgent matters, there are none. Um, the minutes of the meeting uh, held on the 11th of April, which have been circulated separately, which you have uh, on your... Uh, which you've seen already. Um, are you happy that I can sign those as a fair record of the meeting? Yes. Thank you. Um, in which case, we move to um, the one item of substance this evening, which is the adoption of the Sherbourne St John Neighbourhood Plan. Um, Councillor Raphael, would you like to introduce this? Yes, uh, Chairman. This is to uh, send this to full council so that full council makes uh, this uh, neighbourhood plan. I strongly recommend that uh, that is what we do. Uh, this uh, has passed a referendum with the residents of Sherbent St John. One site was put forward and received the majority of the support. Um, I know that those who <coughs> ran the steering group, including the chairman who has emailed me, has asked that I pass on the both the financial and technical thanks over the last four years uh, to our officers and Mr Matthew Melville in particular. So I accordingly uh, pass on those thanks. Uh, it, it's a great effort by uh, many people within the community and I strongly urge Cabinet to support it. Thank you very much. Uh, I did admit to ask earlier on if there were any declarations of interest, but I'm assuming on this matter there are no declarations of interest. In which case, can I assume that we can uh, agree to? In which case, I will terminate the meeting at 18.32. Thank you.